Hello, my dear crafters. Today you're going to love our project. Look at this, the beautiful bag. Very, very nice and quick to make. You will love making these. And then inside we have a notepad. Actually, it's two notepads and you can actually fit three, you see in the tutorial. But you have two notepads with a belly band just to add some interest and some more decoration to your notepad because this is going to be such a beautiful gift for your friends and teachers and loved ones. So it's a beautiful bag with these notepads inside. And it's very uncomplicated to make. I will walk you through the tutorial. This is the one we're making together today. All you need is a beautiful paper. If you can, use double-sided paper because it does make a difference, see? That's what I'm using and I'll show you next what papers I used. So this is the notepad inside and it's not complicated at all. And you know what the most special part about this is? You can make both, finish the whole thing with one sheet of 12 by 12 inch paper. How cool is that? And that was my original idea. I wanted to create something that you can make like two things with one sheet of paper. So how cool is this? Great gift, very original, very nice. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. So let's move to the tutorial. So as you know, my videos usually come on on Tuesdays, but this week I was just not my crafting brain was not working. <laughs> so I was, I was trying, I don't know how many times, I wanted to create something that you could make with one sheet of 12 by 12, but my goodness, you know those days, I'm sure all of you have those. You wake up and you say, I'm going to craft, and then nothing works. I mean, half an inch on one side is never half an inch on the other. Nothing was working. I, I don't know, maybe I threw away four or five pages because... It was just my calculations were off and anyway, so I didn't have a video, but here we are. Next day I was okay and the calculations were fine. <laughs> so here's what we're going to do today. Uh, we're going to cut this paper, just one sheet of 12 by 12, which makes it really special. And we start, that's how we start. I usually start my videos with the paper already cut, but I wanted to show you, this one is important for you to know how to cut it. So, let me first share the papers I'm using today. These are kind of old, I've had them for a while. So for this one, it's called Humble Abode. And it has, 36 sheets and the reason why I love this brand it's because it's always double-sided so it's a really nice I love this paper here there are some crafting ones let me show you the crafting ones it's one of my fave and some I love these houses I cut them on my skin and cut so I have some little houses to use and I think I've used all of the the crafty one so it has a few pages left and the other one that I used for this is this one same brand because it's really nice if you use a double sided it doesn't have to be but since you do this you 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 turn it you turn the paper and of course inside too it just looks better I think if you don't have it that's fine though so this one is cool kids so it's more like kids oriented really beautiful paper. Do they have beautiful papers? I love this one. Yeah, so yeah, this one is almost gone too. So I just wanted you to know so that if you want the same paper, you can find it. And then we're going to need one of these that's from the dollar store. It comes with three paper pads and that's what we're going to cover. So okay, so we have the 12 by 12. You need to pay attention now because the bag, if, you, if it has some kind of pattern like this that you want to show, so this pattern needs to be this way, facing this way, because that's where we're going to cut uh, the long, <clears throat> no, sorry. It has to be facing you. We're going to cut the long side here, and then it's going to fold. So pay attention to where you want 
your pattern to be, okay? So this way, that's how I want it. So we're going to open this, and you're going to cut this at nine and a half. That's the long size side. So nine and a half inches. I actually am going to, you know what I like to do? I like to cut this side first because then you don't have all this, all of this cut. You can preserve this. So the paper is nine and a half long by six and three quarters, the short side. So we're going to cut the six and three quarters first. It's just that you preserve this paper here. I already cut a little bit, but that's fine. I just want to teach you the best way because then you have the full size. Because if you cut here, and you, you would lose this size here. You know, the size would be smaller. And we're going to need the full page. So that's six and three quarters by nine and a half. So we have this for the bag, and then we have these two pieces of paper left. So with this, we're going to cut first the paper that's going to cover, and I'm going to cover the whole thing. So what you need for that is a piece of paper that is 10 and a half by three and a half. Don't worry because I'll have everything uh, in the description, okay, all the measurements. So here's three and a half by 10 and a half. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna cut the short part first. So three and a half. And then, because again, you preserve this size here. And then here it's 10 and a half. So always cut the smallest first because that helps you. So 10 and a half. So we have, oh, this one I had cut, but that's fine. But anyway, so we have this paper for, to cover the notebooks. We have the bag, so that's done. What we need now is we need to cut the two handles. So this one here. So the handle is, I'll tell you first how, uh, how thick it is. It's three. I tried doing, you can do half, half, let's do this one half an inch. The other one was three eighths of an inch. So this one I'm gonna do half. Just to see the different look. I just thought it was a little thick to be half, but that's fine. So let's do that. And I believe this is, yeah, this is the perfect size and, and let me, sh let me tell you how long this is. So that's six and three quarters, okay? Six and three quarters, so we need two of those because those will be the handles. All we need to cut now is the band, the belly band. So what I usually do is I just get this last strip of paper here. I kind of already, I make sure that this is straight and, and the paper is straight too, you can use your paper trimmer for that. So I just do this, because you're going to have more than you need here. So you can use the whole thing. It doesn't really hurt to have more. Make sure that it's all straight. And you have your belly band. So you can cut a little bit because you're going to have a lot of leftover here, the, the overlap, but it doesn't need to. So it's done, your belly band is done. So I'll just put this aside. This is all you have left. And you can even use this to decorate. And I'll see if I can, yeah, I think I'm going to cut the circle on this, we'll see. But that's what you have left and, you, and you're practically done now. So all the cutting is done, we're just going to do the scoring now, okay? So we're going to have the long way I'm going to Zoom in so it's better for you to see. Put this aside. So we're going to score at, so this is the nine and a half side, three and three quarters, four, four and a half. So this is three quarters thick, okay? So three, 
three and three quarters, four and a half, and then eight and one quarter, and then nine. I'm going to be left. This distance here always has to be the same distance as here, okay? And then we're gonna have this. We're gonna turn it around and just score twice. First one at three quarters of an inch. So three quarters of an inch and six. So that's that. That's all we have and all we need for now. I'm going to put that aside. And now we're going to do the cutting. I think it's easier to see this side here. But let me score first because I always think it makes it easier for you guys to see if it's scored. So I'm going to burnish all the scoring lines. And then you're going to start to see your beautiful little bag. There you go. So here it is. So we're going to start to see that. And we're going to choose which can be either one. So we'll choose, uh, I want it this way. So that's going to be the top. So you are going to flip it and just fold it the other way. And we're actually going to, first thing we do is to glue it. So it gives it a little time to be sturdy and make sure you put a lot of glue on the edges, especially on the edges here to make sure that it's going to be well stuck. So there you go. I use my bone folder to press it just for a few seconds. This is a very quick glue, so doesn't need much, but just to make sure that it stays in place. So there you are. So you already have that part done. Now we're going to cut the bottom here. So we have these two lines here. We're going to cut up to the folding line, which is this one. Let me fold it so you see. So you have this folding line here. You're going to cut up to there. So there, and I'm just going to cut it at an angle here to make it easier when you fold it, when you glue. So see, you cut at an angle here. Same thing on the other side. Cut at an angle. There you go. And we're actually going to cut at an angle here and take all this piece off, okay? So here we go. This is what we're left with. All we need to do now is glue. I think I'm going to glue this first. So I'm going to make sure that this is all. So what we need to do is, the best way to glue the side is, I usually do this. I fold it and then I fold this back here and I put glue there and it's going to be perfect. Or it should be if you did your measurements right. Make sure there's a lot of glue here. And I had some extra here that we don't need. So just, just put it here. Make sure that it's aligned here, especially on the top. And there you are. Again, use your bone folder your best friend. Bone folder is your best friend. Crafter's best friend, the bone folder. So there you go. So we have that finished. And now we're going to do the bottom. So you see that there is one place here where you kind of see the end of the paper. So you don't want that to be in front. You want that to be in the back. So you make sure that this, the flap that was glued is in the back. So that means that this is going to be the last one to glue, okay? Because you don't want that to show either. So you're going to put some glue on these two little flaps. I'm gonna call fold this one and I like to hold it in place so that it doesn't go 
to, in a place in that I don't want it to go and that the box is straight there and the last thing you do is just fold the last one in again I like to put it on like here on the flat surface and again, just press it a little bit. This, uh, I'll make sure that it's not crooked. If you put it on a flat surface like this and you just press it with your best friend. And then I use my bone folder to kind of press down the whole thing. Just go up and down and I go like this. A little, a few times. And there you are. We have our beautiful bag. How cute is that? Now we need to put the handles. So let's get the two handles. And I like, let me see if I brought it. I like to round. Maybe we won't do this one because I don't think I brought it. I did. So I have my corner rounder here. It's the thing that I use the most. And we're going to round. Use the little one. Yeah, that's perfect. So we're going to round the corners because I think it's a good finish. See? Now it's rounded. Let's do lock the other one. Get that out of the way. And this corner rounder has like three different sizes. See? That's the smallest one. That's the one that I used, but you have two more. So it's perfect. So very important tip I'll give you now. Always <clears throat> break the fibers of your paper. So do this. Just use your best friend, famous bone folder, like this. And then it will be much easier to do this. So what I usually do, guys, is I kind of eyeball it. You can measure if you want. So I am going to just eyeball in it, put it here. In here, and then I'm going to come with my handle, press it down, hold it. This is a quick glue, so you don't have to hold it for very long. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side, and then we're going to cover your beautiful notebook. So there you go. I think it's fine. I'm gonna. I love. That's why it's good to use liquid glue because you have some wiggle room to move it around a little bit. Like here, I can see that it's a little crooked. Now it's perfect. See, that's one. Now that I have that, I just kind of look at where it is and I put a lot of glue here, like this. Do the same thing. I love making bags, like purses and stuff. I love it. Mm, there you go. Let me know what you think. You think this is a good item for craft fair? I try to make very quick things for craft fairs because you kind of mass produce it. I'm not sure that this will be. I mean, you can make a few. I think I'm going to I'm gonna make some for Christmas for sure. Because using paper, Christmas paper, and some embellishments would be fantastic. So I have this from the dollar store. And I'm going to use it because I think the gold will be perfect. So I'm going to just put a... I always put a little bit of glue just to help it. These things come with, come with glue, but I never trust that it's strong enough. So... We are going to add this. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. Huh, it's better than I thought. Oh, come on. Move a little bit. There you go. So there. I'm going to put the other one here. Look at this. with the Beautiful with this gold one. Love it. There you go. I'm going to put it on the other side now. And we'll be done with our little bag. That's, these are the things that I always have at home from the Dollar Tree because you use it over and over and over again. So there you go. We have our bag. It's finished. And you can also, guys, if you want, I think the paper 
does the job of, you don't need to add much if you use a beautiful paper, but you can always add something here like ephemera or cut aparts, whatever you want. So there you go. Now we're going to cover our notebook. Notepad, actually. I'll just get this confused. At the end, they all, they all have the same purpose. This is very easy. So the paper is, remember, 10 and a half by 3 and a half. What I do is I just go like this, hold it in place, fold it, put it down. <laughs> I have perfected this technique over the years. And again, get your best friend just to make sure that it holds in place. Here you can use your fingers and here we are. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna glue. Oh, I'm so sorry, I made a mistake. It's actually two, not three. So I'm gonna have to do that again. Well, not, not the, just the folding part. That's fine. Not a, not a problem. So we're going to do that again. Hold it in place. And here it is. It's smaller. I thought it was kind of small when I looked at it. So, oh, because usually we have some left over. So we're going to do that again. Make sure that it's aligned here. This paper is making a funny noise. So there you go, this is good. We always have a little bit hanging, but it's better to have more and be able to cut it. So this is gonna be the front. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put glue here on the top. Can put a lot of glue. And then here. Oh, this thing is kind of clogged right now, so not a lot is coming out. Oh, there you go. There you go. So there you go. So we're just gonna press it. I put it down just to make sure that it's aligned and it's straight here. Press it with your bone folder. Guys, I love this project. Please let me know if you like it. I love to get comments from you guys. I know we're all very busy and I watch a lot of videos that I don't leave comment on too, so I get it. But it's so nice when we get recognition. So here you are. So you have a little bit left here, which is fine. It's better than not having enough because then you can't edit. Let me get another pair of scissors because it's always better to do this with big ones. There you go. We're done with this. How beautiful is that? Look at that. So all we need now is to add a belly band. The belly band we're going to add. Uh, oh, this is why I, I did the same, I made the same mistake because I did the belly band with three too, right? That's not a problem. So I'll just find one of the folds here. We're going to just crease it again. Because I remember that this paper had a lot of a, a lot left, a lot of paper left, so you do have to cut it. So there you go. Don't make it too tight because otherwise you, you won't be able to slide it off. See, there is a lot left here, so I don't need that. So I'm just gonna cut a little bit. I think this is good. So we're going to add glue. Make sure that it's straight. Get the excess off here. And we are almost done. So we have the belly band. I cut a little one. I wanted to add gold. You guys know that I love gold, right? So I wanted to add some gold. So I cut a little piece of, it's just a one inch. If you have if you have a one inch, I, I use this one. I don't think you can find that, but just a circle punch. And I have another. You know, I can actually use this. I think this will look better. Let me go get my I'm gonna go get my flower punch.
here we are so I am going to make a beautiful flower with the paper and I can with my bone folder just round it a little bit just break the fibers a little bit just to add some dimension and you can actually put this here and then to end I'm gonna use the gold circle there you are see so you have your belly band and now let's see the full thing isn't that easy to make it's very easy you can mass produce it totally can just cut the papers cut 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 and then you fold 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 <laughs> and then you glue 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 <laughs> so there you are we have this beautiful notepad we can put it in here and I think maybe it will even fit three let me see let me see if we can fit three here uh, it's kind of oh it's getting stuck on the belly band let me just see because just to give you another idea because you can because you buy these in threes at the dollar store and you can actually fit three how wonderful is that so it's your choice you can make it with three you have enough paper for that but we made with two today okay it's just another idea for you we have this beautiful perfect and here's the other one see the difference in in this how thick this is and this one is a little thinner so that's just style so this is our project for today guys i hope you enjoyed it leave your comment below and yeah and make some this is a great gift thank you so much and have a great day